Hello great people, welcome back to Emmy Narrate channel. Trust you are fine, have you heard about the scripture which says, a good name is better than silver or gold? Yes, Proverbs 22, 1 says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Do you know there are many people whose fathers or mothers or even grandparents name open doors for them? Take for an example, Barack Obama, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Bill Clinton, George Bush, Nelson Mandela, Good Luck Jonathan, or Uhuru Kenyatta, think of any renowned person or a good person in your life who has blessed lives, their name is a gateway, a brand, once people hears of the name they must do you any favor whether you asked for it or not. In the same vein, there are people you are related to, that their name indeed closes doors for you no matter who you are personally. There are people that most of their parents, relatives did something bad, wrong or terrible to another person and the person or people the wrong were done to them placed a curse on the oppressor's children or vowed to take a revenge on their children. Funnily, you knew not, you were not there, you didn't approve of it but here you are suffering from anger you knew nothing about. While praying, many people do say, may what I don't know not know me. There are people that are suffering because either their father or grandfather impregnated someone's daughter and denied and a curse was placed that because he did this to my daughter, may this or that may done to all his daughters. And it may be you weren't even born then. There are people that their parents used to oppress others and take something that belonged to those people by force. How about those who used to victimize others using their position, power and authority? There is a story of a woman who laid a curse to the whole female lineage of the family she was married into because of how the family afflicted her, punished her and she went through hell. Therefore, she said, may the female children of this family pass through what I have been done in this family. Unfortunately, some of these people did not know what they did was wrong, some may have done through ignorance but the victims didn't take it that way. Kindly watch this video to the end and see why you must pray against mistakes, errors, sins and curses caused by our parents. May what we don't know not know is in Jesus' name, Amen. Dr. Davidson is a very heartless man. Imagine, he failed me for a course I wrote well because I refused to sort him. How can he do this? Why me? I will have spillover and won't graduate with my mates because of this failed course. The other semester he gave me a low grade, just the mark to give me a B grade, he gave me a C and said he is a strict person. A strict person who compromises his standards, is that one a strict person? No, he is rather a wicked man. A wicked lecturer. In this life, I shall pay him back with his own coin, if it is not him, it will be his children, our paths shall cross again in life, and he shall taste what he dished to me when he had his time. Mummy forgive me, please I'm sorry. I didn't know Dr. Davidson wanted to take advantage of me. I never meant to disrespect you. Yes, my daughter you have your own blame, but, I blame that Mr. or Doctor, whatever it is they call him Davidson. He exploited my daughter, took advantage of my daughter, defiled my daughter and told me to do my worst. Ah, 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 it shall never be well with Dr. Davidson Okpos, for what he has done to my daughter, Having a carnal knowledge of my daughter, and disgraced my daughter, when I approached him, he had the guts to rend insults on me. Me, the mother of the child he took advantage of, I suffered to carry my child in the womb for nine months, I passed through labor, I suffered to raise the child, and he insulted me after defiling my child. Everybody is saying I should go to court, do I have the money to seek for justice? To go to court, I need to have money to pay the lawyer, he has money to fight me in court and even win the case over me with my own right. The system will favor him because he is rich, powerful and influential. I won't go to court, but I speak and declare this day, Davidson Okpos shall never go unpunished. May what he did to me and my daughter not go unpunished. May his daughters suffer the same fate. May men use his daughters, take advantage of them, use them and dump them. May men sleep with them before any favor is offered to them. May they always be offered sex in exchange for favors else, may they never progress in life, career. Davidson Okpo's daughters shall always meet men like their father all the rest of their lives, amen and amen. They shall only be good for sex, as sex toys, sex objects and all men shall exploit them. As the earth lives, Davidson Okpo's daughters shall never be made honorable women. 
they shall never be found worthy by men, not to talk of marriage. For this that their father has done, vengeance shall not depart from David Sinachpo's household and his daughters shall not escape this vengeance forever and ever, Amen. So shall be to his female lineage, they shall struggle to be among womanhood, all the female generations of David Sinachpo's, since he feels what he did to my daughter and turned around to spite me was good, this measure shall be measured back to his female children in full measure, pressed down, shaken together and runneth over for him, then he shall know that he is just a mere man. Amen. Amen mummy. Oh quiet. How dare you condescend to allowing a man take advantage of you. Mummy, he threatened me. He said, if I don't comply he will deal with me. He threatened me not to tell anybody else he will deal with me and anyone that will challenge him. So, I was afraid mummy. He threatened you, he lured you and you couldn't be bold to tell me, you should have said it let him kill me already. I'm sorry mummy, please forgive me. Sister Justina are you all right? I came in here to pour out my frustrations and displeasure only to meet you being down too? David, things are not going on well with me as it's supposed to. In fact with all our sisters, it's something that bothers me. Okay, fine girl, what is wrong with you? Would you love to talk about it? Forget about me, why are you frustrated? What are your frustrations? I'm curious. Is it not my lecturer? My lecturer, Dr. Peterson. So he asked me in my second year. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. How may I help you? Please, sir. You asked me to see you in your office after lecture. Oh, the name David Davidson Oakbos. Are you related to Dr. Davidson Oakbos? Yes, sir. He was my father. He was a lecturer. He used to lecture with his university before he retired. Was? Why use was? Yes sir, he is late now. He died three years ago. Oh, I wasn't aware. It must have been when I was on sabbatical leave. Hmm. May his soul rest in peace. Wow! Sir, that means you knew my father. He was one of you. How I miss him so much. He was a good man. A good person indeed. Yes, I knew your father. You may go. Thank you, sir. Wow! So Dr. David Sinokpo's child is in this university? Hmm. It's time for Dr. David Sinokpo's to reap his rewards. After all, the sins of the fathers shall be visited upon the child. That man that frustrated me in school till I almost wouldn't have graduated. I toiled and suffered cried many times like a woman because of a wicked lecturer like him? Interesting. I don't think the sun shall have it easy. It shall be a good ride. Chai. Lord am great flow. My head of department, my lecturer knew my father. Things shall be very easy for me in school because I am one of them. Their late colleague's child. Chai, it's good to have a good legacy. I'll be enjoying my father's legacy now for free. Uh-huh, I'll I'll I. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, David. What is it? Please, sir, I failed your course. Wow! That means you didn't study well. You failed because you didn't write the examination well. Please, sir, I wrote it well, last semester, I failed the course and will be writing it a spillover in the next first semester of another year. This second semester, too. I failed your course again. Please sir, I read, studied for that course well, please sir, can it be remarked? Interesting, is it only my course that you failed? No sir. Are you going to write for remarking of all the failed courses? I don't know sir, I am confused. It is obvious. You can write the senate for remarking of all your scripts if you are sure of what you wrote. You may go now. Thank you sir. So sis, you see? I have been failing my courses. What marvels me is I failed the most courses from the lecturers who knew our father. It is not just one lecturer, about four of my lecturers, and I fail all their courses, semester after semester. My cumulative grade point is so low that I don't know if I'll be graduating with third class degree or a pass. It is that bad. I haven't summoned courage or have the confidence of writing the senate for remarking of my scripts. I feel so frustrated and feel like withdrawing for the university. It doesn't make sense that people we study together, people I am even better than are making it, 
passing well with us in BS, but I am struggling with CS or DS, very unfortunate. I feel weak. My brother, it's not only you that is frustrated. I am 37 years now, without a husband, children or any serious relationship or job. Every man I meet wants to sleep with me, once they have their way with me, off they go. That will be the end of it. They won't call me again. If I call their line, once they know it is me, they'll end the call and block my number. Men wants to sleep with me before they do me a favor. At a point, I made up my mind not to allow any man get between my legs, they will still go, I allow, they will still have me and still go. Look at me now, I am a fine girl, well trained and I know I have value. I have what to bring to the table, but I don't know why I am always falling a victim of bad relationships, users, exploiters and perverts men. And you my brother can see to yourself that is the same thing affecting all our sisters, sister Nelly will soon clock 40, no husband or serious relationship, our junior sister surely is suffering the same fate. I mean it is terrible. I have been thinking, why is everyone going through one affliction or the other? Why us? Why me? I get you my sister, it is more spiritual than we think. It's like we are under the influence of a curse. I wish daddy was alive to tell me why everyone is always tightening ropes, carrying stones and bow whenever they know we are our father's children. I have asked mommy about this before, but, she wouldn't say anything, but will say we should look up to God, the author and the finisher of our faith. If we don't know what is our problem, how will we know how to battle it? I am tired already. I feel like giving up, in fact, I have given up already. To hell with lecture the lecturers and studies. I will just go and learn a skill. I am done with school. Don't give up yet, I lamented to my friend and she told me to meet her pastor for pastoral counseling and prayers. I will try and meet with the man tomorrow. Because, sincerely, it is not funny at all. Look at other people progressing and doing well and look at us, as intelligent as we are can't achieve anything tangible, we are suffering more than we ought to even though we had everything that would have made us more successful early in life. David, listen to me. Please, for our sake and the future, don't throw in the towel yet. Thank you Lord, please have your way in the life of your daughter here in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Justina Davidson. What you and your siblings are suffering from is sins of your father. You see, your father was a cruel man, who delighted in hurting people, stepping on toes and conquering territories using his influence. He made many mistakes, committed many errors, and many people he wronged cursed him and his children, even unborn children. You people are facing the consequences of your father's sins. Your prayers should be Lord, may what I didn't know not know me. May the sins of my father, my father's errors, mistakes, misdeeds not be visited upon me. You and your siblings need to pray consistently and break the yoke of your father's errors until you people experience a change. It's all right, sir. I will pray for you and ask for mercy for you, but it is your place and that of your siblings to pray and break free from the curses, yokes and mistakes of your father. Your prayers should always be, Father, I didn't ask my father to do all those terrible things, I was never a party to it, May I not suffer his consequences, because I wouldn't have agreed for him hurt and maim people and I consent to it. Please have mercy upon me. Are you even aware of the things your father did in his lifetime? Or am I lying against him? Sir, I believe what you said, although we never spoke with my father before he passed away, and my mother never spoke about it, people always say, our father was a terrible man. We thought it was a good compliment, but never knew he did evil things to people making us pay for his sins. I decree and declare that cease to happen in your lives from this day henceforth in Jesus' name, Amen. May what you didn't know about not stand against you and your siblings in life anymore in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching, sometimes, we suffer from the mistakes of our father and mother, many people go through hard times because of a curse that was placed upon them through the sins, mistakes or errors of their parents. 
You may not know why you go through the things you do until you pray against this issue and start experiencing a change in your life. May God show us mercy and may we break free completely from inherited curses from our parents' mistakes in Jesus' name, Amen. Please do not forget to subscribe to Emmy Narrate channel to continue watching our inspirational videos. God bless you abundantly.